Hey guys, how's it going? Just got this unit in. It's a VHF XTS 3000 in very nice shape. It uh, has been programmed all 48 channels, 16, 16, 16, and three banks. Toggle sets the zones, so you've got three chan or you've got four scan lists set up. The concentric switch is set to uh, to toggle on and off in the scan mode, so that's on. Top display is set for 20 seconds. You've got nuisance to lead. Uh, comes with an OEM Motorola wide band. Really pulls the signals in uh, like no other. Uh, it won't be coming with an FDMY knob. Those things are too hard to get a hold of. They're impossible to get a hold of now. Uh, and I'm holding on to the ones I've got. It'll be sent with the stock knob that came with it. Uh, it'll also be, sent, be shipped with a standard side contact dust cover. This is both analog and digital. It's been run through trace.com. It's APCO B25. And I'm going to switch to the mirror's frequencies and get off that receive only. And it's going to come with an OEM Motorola battery. And I'm going to throw in a OEM Motorola belt clip. Those things don't come cheap, by the way. Uh, you can see the date code on it, 029. Uh, it's been on my analyzer, it's been reconditioned, and it's uh, pumping out uh, 1,378 milliamp. This is a 7.5 nickel uh, nightcap battery. <laughs> very good radio, very good unit. You guys have been <laughs> wanting units, and it's funny that, uh, you know, the radio, the radio's... Uh, as soon as they sell these Model 1s, I get about, you know, 10 emails uh, from guys saying, man, do you still got one? You know, do you still have another one? No, that was the last one, you know. I mean, I get them in every now and then, but, you know, if you really want the damn thing, you're going to have to move on it. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm on mirrors, and let's see what channel I'm on. I had this code plug really, I just don't know what in hell people are thinking. Turn this up. Okay. So three, I need to go. Yeah, I think that's right. Turn this up. Not blowing your ears out. Chris, Jeff. Watch your speakers, guys. Chris, Jack, Chris, Jack. Motherfucker. Chris, Jack, Chris, Jack. Chris, Jack, Chris, Jack. Transmits and receives fine. I've been transmitting on it uh, for the most part of the day. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Let's go up to five. Chris Jack, Chris Jack. That's in uh, digital mode. I don't like digital. But at the same time, everybody's going digital, so people are falling in line. They've got to since the 20, 2012 mandate uh, to narrow band. That is a narrow band compliant VHF unit. It's in good shape. And you can put it to work. The scan lists are set, nuisance delete scan, zone, uh, monitor, light, light is set for uh, the duration of 20 seconds, 
and that's the top dial elimination. Uh, that's set for talk around direct. I should have made it just blank. Uh, I'm not going to go back in the CPS on it. It will come with a printout from trace.com if I didn't tell you that already. Uh, I've made a couple videos of this. Uh, before the radio ship out, they ship out. Uh, they ship out with a uh, check through NCIC on trace.com. Uh, they ship out with a printout sh that was printed that day, the day of shipment, uh, showing that they're clean. Uh, this is a digital and analog unit. It does have all the tags and great battery. This isn't the, the one that came with it was a uh, generic, and I'm sorry, I just can't sell generic and or generic batteries. Uh, they're shit, and you know, if I if I can't if I can't live with them, I don't want anybody else to. Uh, you know. If they're generic batteries, sometimes some of them are good, some of them are bad. I don't know, but I just feel a lot more comfortable with all Motorola. Uh, stock knob will come with it. Stock dust cover. That's pretty much it. Good radio, good scanner. Uh, it's the first two uh, two banks are set uh, for receive only, and the third bank is set for the mirrors. And I've got five mirrors, uh, five mirrors personalities, and then five, five in analog and five in digital. So works great, good radio all the way around, and it's going to be uh, listed on eBay uh, for probably right at around uh, three hundred bucks. Probably, if you want to buy it off of eBay. Uh, get a hold of me, and but you you need to be serious if you really want to get it. I'm not going to dig around. Uh, I know how much these radios are worth. I know the, what I've got in in it, and uh, I'm probably going to throw in a charger with that, a charging unit, and uh, it'll just be a drop-in desk charger, and uh, it'll be good to go. But uh, that's pretty much it. Take it easy guys, later on.